Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a pleasant and a beautiful morning. The golden opportunity to become part of this esteemed university does not come by so easily. And we have gathered here today to welcome a group of individuals who have been so lucky to have got this rare opportunity. So on behalf of the University of Peradeniya, let us congratulate and welcome one such privileged batch of fresh faces to our prestigious and beautiful university to start their journey toward academic wisdom and glory. Vice Chancellor of the University of Peradeniya, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Deans of the Faculties, Special Invitees, Staff, and dear students. On behalf of the organizing committee, let me warmly welcome you all to the orientation program for the new intake to the Faculty of Science. To mark the commencement of the inauguration ceremony, let us now rise for the university anthem. Please remain standing for the faculty anthem. Well, when the 
symbolizes knowledge, prosperity, hope, and new beginnings. So let us mark this blessed new beginning of the 2020 batch of the Faculty of Science with the lighting of the traditional oil lamp. the pleasure of inviting Professor Sanat Rajapaksha, Dean of the Faculty of Science, who has been the greatest strength behind us, to officially welcome the new students and address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Very good morning to all of you. Professor M.D. Lamavansa, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Peradeniya, Professor Terence Madhujit, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of the University of Peradeniya, all deans of other faculties, proctor of the University of Peradeniya, the chairperson of the uh, Student Advisory and Welfare Committee of the Faculty of Science, heads of departments of the Faculty of Science, and all the other academic staff members of the Faculty of Science, acting registrar and acting bursar of the University of Peradeniya, Assistant Registrar and Assistant Bursar of the Faculty of Science, Assistant Librarian of the Science Library, all non-academic staff members of the Faculty of Science, my dear students who entered the Faculty of Science for the year 2020-21, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Faculty of Science, University of Peradeniya, I warmly welcome our Vice Chancellor, sir, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, sir, 
all deans of other faculties and all other distinguished invitees for the inauguration ceremony for the new entrance to the faculty of science dear students first of all congratulations congratulations on entering the university of peradin it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the most comprehensive most beautiful and number one i would say this again most comprehensive most beautiful and the number one university in the island and most importantly the best science faculty in the university system in sri lanka which offers an academically sound technologically advanced and socially conducive environment uh, with a wealth of resources to to study sciences uh, dear students the faculty of science which was which is one of the largest academic bodies of the university of peradeni was founded in 1942 in kalambu and shifted to this present location in 1961 your faculty i would say your faculty has spearheaded the science tertiary education in the country for over 75 years and i am proud to say that our faculty is blessed with a well qualified academic staff which amount to about 125 Uh, those who have and out of this 125 more or less 100 have obtained their doctoral degrees from prestigious universities from all over the world and over 9900 undergraduate students the faculty offers students a journey of learning and discovery into the natural and computational sciences to add little bit to the uh, information that i have shared with you about the faculty the faculty consists of uh, nine academic departments two units and the science education resource center and the science industry interaction cell uh, through which the faculty make contacts with the local and uh, international industry the faculty annually admits little over 500 uh, students and offers several four year degree programs uh, namely honors degree program in biology botany chemistry computer science environmental science geology mathematics molecular biology and biotechnology physics statistics and zoology and the bsc in statistics and operations research the faculty has recently introduced actually from this year onwards three new honors degree programs namely biomedical science uh, data science and microbiology the faculty continues to offer uh, its three year bsc degree program providing the students an option of spending one additional year under 3 plus 1 structure uh, with an industry oriented fourth year leading to a, a bsc in applied sciences degree dear students all the courses in the faculty are conducted under semester based uh, course unit system that has widened the scope and flexibility of course combinations undergraduates are also trained in information and communication technology laboratory and field techniques critical thinking problem solving teamwork leadership skills and effective oral and written communications uh, communication skills to meet the needs of the modern society the faculty while offering courses which provide solid foundation in science it mathematics and also offer courses in latest advanced areas in nano science nanotechnology biotechnology biodiversity conservation geographical information systems and even management and economics our degree programs are highly regarded in the world and provide excellent career opportunities nationally and internationally in addition to serving various sectors in the country a significant number of our graduates probably i think probably the highest number from any university in sri lanka are enrolled in msc mphil and phd degree programs in the most prestigious university in the world where they excel you will get uh, adequate information regarding the departments course unit system courses offered in the faculty etc during your orientation program which is supposed to begin on the 6th of june uh, that is uh, coming monday the academic staff of the faculty is engaged in uh, ground breaking research and innovation the very recent being the uh, face masks that you all know very well the the infamous face mask Uh, the respiron against coronavirus developed by the researchers of the faculty of science while being deeply dedicated to undergraduate and graduate level teaching faculty academics have won international recognition prestigious national or international awards and significant research grants a substantial number of our academics receives 
the coveted uh, presidential awards each year in recognition of their research publications uh, in prestigious SI, SCI ranked journals. Research excellence of the academic staff not only contributes to the reputation of the faculty and the university, but also provide the students an opportunity to engage in cutting edge research projects. Hundreds of our undergraduates also benefit working on their independent research projects and uh, studies under the guidance of these uh, academics of the Faculty of Science. Dear students, you should realize one thing, you should realize that people of our country, both rich and poor, have made a great investment in your education. There is nothing, nothing called free education. Somebody has to pay. Now, these rich and poor people of our country, everybody pays for your education. So therefore, I request you to make use of this opportunity so that you and our country will benefit uh, from the investment. Your undergraduate programs leading to the BSc degree have, uh, BSc degrees rather, uh, have been designed to teach basic and practical sciences, practical and applied sciences together with comprehensive skills development components. At the end of the program, you should not only be a science graduate, equipped with knowledge and skills, but one should possess a necessary attitude to be a kind, caring, and compassionate human being. I would repeat this again. You should be ultimately be a kind, caring, and compassionate human being. You should abide, one thing, you should abide by the university rules and the law of the country. Your predecessors, that is your seniors who graduated from our faculty much, much earlier, by their commitment and hard work, have brought the fame and pride to this faculty, locally as well as globally. I hope you too would work towards achieving similar or even better standards and keep Peradeni University flag flying high. Enjoy uh, your undergraduate life at Peradeni. Wishing you all the very best and thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring speech. Now I'm going to call upon someone who has always been a great source of inspiration and guidance in our university's route to becoming a center of excellence in higher education with a remarkable national, regional, and global reputation. Professor M.B. Lamavansa, Vice Chancellor of the University of Peradeniya, my humble invitation is to you, sir, to address this gathering. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, I hope you could hear me well. Can you? Uh, Professor Nataraja Paksha, can you hear me well? Yes, sir. Fine, good. Uh, a very good morning to all of you. Dean of the faculty, Professor Sanataraja Paksha, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Terence Madhujit, other deans, Proctor, academic staff, acting registrar, and Bursa, and non-academic staff, dear students, parents, ladies and gentlemen. We, the university, are delighted to welcome you 2020-21 intake of the science faculty. It must be most exciting to you today, and so is to us. We have been waiting for you and uh, several faculties have just started their academic program and you will follow. Over the last years, you have worked hard and passed a competitive examination to secure a seat in this great academic institution. And it is a world renowned university as your dean stated a little while ago. And we congratulate you on your achievement. And also, we congratulate your parents and your families who have contributed to what you are today. As you start a new journey today, it allows such an occasion taking a fresh look at what you need to do in your life how to plan your life and what 
goals you want to achieve. This is so important today as the world in front of you and the immediate future seems so uncertain. Working through and navigating through these difficult times needs you to identify your goals and also have a very robust but a flexible plan. In developing a roadmap for your life, your perspective is influenced by your beliefs and experiences. That is everything you have been through at home, school, and everything you have learned and everything you have observed. So you come with all those to us today. University, however, is a place where you can change your perspective, your experiences, your learning. And as learning and growing are so much is part of university life. Learning and growing are so much is part of your life. During the next four years, you will discover your life more than in any other period in your life and be assured of that. Therefore, if you use the university environment correctly, when I say environment, everything, people, material, buildings, environment, everything together, you will be able to look at things from a, another perspective, different to the perspective that you come with to this university today. And that will be the key to your success. Because if you keep all the perspectives and the idea that you have developed with you, you will be unlikely to use your capabilities, full capabilities to become an important citizen as your dean tried to explain. Understanding of different perspectives will radically change your relationships. And that is how and why you will become better and better. What do I mean by perspective? Our perspective is our view of the world. As I said earlier, our view of the world depends on our experiences, what we have learned, what we have observed in our villages, in the schools, in the home front. I must say that most of you, although you think and you have broad and broad perspective, perhaps only have a narrow view and narrow perspective in your life. Although as a student years ago, I thought that I was very broad and had good understanding of the whole world. Now only I understand and how poor and narrow my understanding of the world was when I was a medical student. For example, when I say narrow view, you might think that the primary purpose of university education is to get a degree. That is a very narrow perspective. That is what you have seen and heard in the society that you go to get a degree. But the university education is certainly much more than that. The dean was trying to tell you. You will gain professional qualifications too, that are recognized and respected worldwide. And that is what Peradeniya University is the academic program is all about. And all our degree programs are high quality programs recognized worldwide. However, the job market that you will enter into is highly competitive. And skilled employees, employees are high in demand. The skills we refer to here include both hard skills, what you learn in your classroom and laboratory, and also the soft skills. The Dean gave a good list of soft skills that you need to cultivate. 
without which you will not be able to compete with the others in the job market. University education exposes students to new research and technology. Why is that? That is because the universities are the places where the knowledge is created. It is not just the teachers, academic staff who create knowledge, but students as well. And also when you go out from here, you should contribute to knowledge creation, not knowledge consumers only. We'll say if you don't create new knowledge, you being the cream of the society, an educated lot, who else will then do that for you? That is one of the tragedies that our society faces today. And also the world makes progress due to new thoughts and creativity. You will meet such creative and innovative and good thinkers during your stay here. Here again, if you do not create, if you do not think for yourself and the society independently, who else will do that thinking and creative work? And for you to do that, you have the most stimulating environment, one of the best in the world to mention, to cultivate creative and independent thinking, creative and independent thinking. Don't be just a blind follower of someone else. If you can remember what Lord Buddha preached, always think, analyze, without blindly following someone. I am sure the leaders of the other faith also must have said similar things, but I am not familiar, unfortunately. And the environment that the university is providing, as I referred to earlier, has recreational facilities. You saw how nice is that swimming pool. And also exposure to, very importantly, other cultures and backgrounds to enrich your life. When you come here, what you try to, some of you try to do is to make everybody equal. That is killing a culture. What, what we must do is to understand and identify and different cultures and appreciate them rather than bringing everybody to one culture. There is nothing known as one culture. This is what the students' life, I said, get enriched in this environment. Further, you will have the opportunity the university to build your first adult networks. You meet friends and mentors, your seniors, your academic staff, your non-academic staff, labor working in the, uh, in the laboratory, and cleaner and professors. They become your future contacts and also your colleagues. If you talk to your senior professors, they will tell how this contact they have developed with different kind of people, including, as I said, cleaners of the university and the society, how useful they have been. And you learn a lot from each other. You will be inspired by academic staff, leading experts in, in their field, either in education, research, or service that they render. To look at our researchers, there are several of them who belong to the top 2% of world researchers. What achievement and what, how lucky you are to meet them and talk to them. The, all these exposures and learning and teaching opportunities you get will help for you to build initiative. Initiatives are so important in one's life. 
rather than being very passive and dictated by someone else. And also the leadership skills that you can be used for your life. Why is that the, world, where the leadership skills are so important for world tomorrow? Look at what is going to be like in 30 years, that is 2052, 52. 30 years, you might think is a very long period. Children, it is not so, it is a very short period because you will spend four years and the rest will just like a fast train move forward. 40 years ago, when you look at, when we were school children, there were no mobile phones, no apps. TV just came in 1977-78. There were no emails, no WhatsApp and this app and all that. So much have changed in the world or during our lifetime. During your lifetime also, so many things will change without you realizing. So you got to then grasp all these new developments. It is not just the mobile phone technology that you should grasp thinking about human being, understanding of whether it is economy, health, the, the environment that you live in, the earth, universe, so many things happen. So as academics and the scholars and those who follow, we are expected to keep in touch with all those developments. And also you will probably see it happening during your lifetime, storing your functional aspect of your brain in robots. So that you can be, um, you can be ignored to contribute to certain work, and these things are important in the background of you making long-term plans for you, as I said at the beginning, and have some goals, and very importantly, law-abiding citizens, and your plans should take into consideration your date of retirement as well. You have to, you have to start your life after this. You have to have a family, children, you have to look after your parents. And there is a great deal of urgency for you to do all these things. One reason is some of you all have may lost, may have lost two years already by doing the elevers three times. It's quite possible. You have wasted two years of your life already. So therefore think of spending only basic minimum number of years, not even an extra day here, just four years. Because two years is, two years you have lost this, not to a student life. Because you have lost two years of working life. You are expected to retire at the age of 65, but effectively now you will be retiring at the age of 63. So you have lost two years of work and income. When we talk about income, don't consider that there are many people to provide you with jobs. You should be the job creators rather than job seekers. Who is there to produce jobs for you? You are supposed to be the best in the country and the world. You should be able to generate jobs. Now, why do you, who else you expect who are farmers in this country to create jobs for you? Road workers to create jobs for you? That is what's happening by and large at this time in, in our country. So we, Although, although our immediate future is uncertain, the country has gone through crisis and several of them during my lifetime. But the country has bounced back. Therefore, I am very optimistic. I'm very hopeful that the things will, if you have the vision and the desire to 
certain difficulties and problems. Take one thing from my talk. That is what I expect you, and you will be a successful man or a woman, turning difficulties and problems into opportunities in your life. And for that, I wish you my uh, not only mine, but the, the very best of our university for, uh, for you to achieve the best in your life. Thank you very much for the organizing committee and also the dean and everybody. Thank you for your words of wisdom, sir. Since its, uh, its inception, the University of Peradeniya has been well known for its academic excellence, as well as for its aesthetic beauty and architecture. Now, I invite you all to join with us in taking a virtual tour through the proud architectural heritage of the Faculty of Science ensconced amidst a landscape of lush greenery. The Faculty of Science, established in 1961 with the vision of being a globally renowned institution contributing towards the development of a vibrant scientific community, offers a wide range of exciting, research-informed and industry-relevant programs encompassing the physical sciences, life sciences, computational sciences, mathematics and data science. From its humble beginnings 60 years ago, with just five academic departments, the Faculty of Science today comprises of nine departments, two units, Computer Science Unit and the Science Education Unit, the Science Education Resource Center, the Science Industry Interaction Cell, and a library for creating, applying, and disseminating new knowledge for the advancement of pure and applied sciences. With the mission of promoting excellence in education, training, research, outreach activities in the basic and applied sciences, and to organize and conduct such programs to support national development, we thrive in maintaining a respectful, inclusive, and supportive environment where all students and staff can flourish. The faculty admits more than 500 undergraduate students annually and offers a wide range of study programs paving the way to tomorrow's respectful individuals for rewarding careers in diverse fields in the society. Teaching is delivered in purpose-built facilities, providing innovative spaces for study and research. The leadership of our renowned scholars and researchers has created a culture of discovery and innovation. Students develop an essential understanding of science and critical thinking skills that will reflect in their decision-making throughout their lives. The Department of Botany, with a reputation for maintaining high academic standards and a strong research culture, has taken a conscious effort to expand its teaching program, bringing together novel developments in the field with traditional areas of botany. It consists of contemporary lecture halls, a glass house, a plant house, herbarium facilities, a botanical garden, and a departmental library. In teaching, the department offers general, honors, and applied science study programs, providing students with a wide choice of attractive courses. The department's main strength is research. As research, we conduct programs a vast range of disciplines, from the molecular to the community scale. Our interests range from plant systematics, communities, forestry, plant pathology, fresh produce technology, toxicology, microbiology, and soil sciences. Established in 1960, the Department of Chemistry is one of the university's most prestigious and influential departments. The department provides a conducive environment for students to advance their skills in science and technology. The department has numerous laboratories, lecture theaters that can hold up to more than 200 students, and two auditoriums with state-of-the-art technology. As one of the premier research institutes in the country, the Department of Chemistry boasts a highly creative and productive research cadre with a collective H index over 170. The department also has access to a wide range of instruments, including NMR, XRD, XRF, SEM, HPLC, GCMS, AAS, FTIR, and others. The Department of Geology was established in 1964 as a part of the University of Ceylon. It is the only full-fledged geology department in the university system. A place where people form close connections with limitless landscapes, it has progressed to a well-equipped academic center. The Department of Geology has a widely recognized BSc Honours in Geology undergraduate program and leading postgraduate programs in Earth Sciences. Graduates of the Geology Department excel in all areas of study, 
It is a place that inspires and furnishes its products to become well-established professionals. One of the oldest and the most renowned departments in its field in the country, the Department of Mathematics was relocated to the present location in 1991. The current two-story building consists of a large lecture theater to accommodate more than 200 students. In addition, the department houses four large lecture rooms, each of which can accommodate 50 students, two small discussion rooms, a seminar room, and a computer laboratory. With the contribution of 15 permanent staff members who excel in various areas of pure and applied mathematics, the department facilitates the honors degree program in mathematics and aids in the administration of the statistics and operations research program, computational and management, and the bachelor's degree program in mathematics. The 21st century has witnessed an explosion of knowledge in biology, specifically by advancing in various fields in molecular biology and biotechnology. Established in 1997, the Department of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology takes pride in contributing to the biological sciences by making science undergraduates with thorough training in the related fields. The Department of Physics of the University of Peradeni has served the world and local community with prolific graduates since its inception in 1961. The department offers a wide range of undergraduate and postgraduate courses covering a broad spectrum of topics in physics and provides a dynamic and diverse learning environment. The courses are designed to impart sound theoretical knowledge and practical skills. Driven by a close knit of academics and researchers, the students receive a rewarding academic experience. The department is locally and internationally recognized for its research capabilities and professional services. Other core research areas followed by its vibrant community in solid state physics, nuclear and particle physics, medical and biophysics, computational physics, atmospheric physics, astronomy and astrophysics, and nanoscience provide wide range of opportunities to engage in cutting edge research in physics and multidisciplinary areas. The Department of Statistics and Computer Science has been dedicated to the highest standards of education, research, and community outreach since its establishment in 1966. It is one of the largest computer science departments in Sri Lanka with around 30 academic, technical, and administrative staff. It presently caters to more than 300 students per academic year. Currently, the department offers three special degrees, honors degree in statistics, honors degree in computer science, and honors degree in data science. It also coordinates the statistics and operation research study program in collaboration with the Department of Mathematics. Established in 1961, the Department of Zoology strives to promote the study of basic and applied aspects of zoology through teaching and research. The department has 30 academic and non-academic staff and serves a large community of undergraduate and postgraduate students. The department attracts students in love with nature from animal lovers and conservationists to concerned disease ecologists. Its research spans all levels of zoology, from ecology and conservation biology to addressing fundamental problems in infectious diseases and biodiversity. This diversity is echoed in teaching, delivering a broad range in three undergraduate honors degrees in zoology, biology, and biomedical science. The newest department of the Faculty of Science, the Department of Environmental and Industrial Sciences, was established in 2020, and since its inception, has been administering the honors degree in environmental sciences and the honors degree in applied sciences. The student life of the Faculty of Science consists of a myriad of activities that complement the academic tasks. The faculty houses more than 30 students' societies and organizations, all of which provides an opportunity for students to engage, collaborate, and improve essential skills required in the 21st century. The Science Students' Union is the primal student body at the Faculty of Science, and it acts collaboratively with the academic staff to improve the students' well-being and take initiative in organizing events and activities such as Vitanjali, a musical extravaganza that helps raise funds for scholarship programs, and Sahodara Piyapa, which aims in helping underprivileged students across the nation. The academic activities at the Faculty of Science are strengthened by the presence of a modern library consisting of not only the recommended textbooks, but also an abundance of resources for further reference. In addition, the students have access to the main library of the University of Peradeniya, the oldest and the most resourced of its kind in Sri Lanka.
The common room after recent renovations includes a cafeteria and a spacious enclosure for students to stay relaxed and interact with colleagues. The faculty is developing new programs which are relevant and responsive to students' interests and demands for maximum employment opportunities. Moreover, we are developing new courses to increase access for a growing group of prospective students whose needs go beyond graduate on the options to ensure high quality community engaged teaching, research and service opportunities. We sincerely encourage you to join the orientation sessions starting next Monday, 6th of June, to explore the exciting avenues offered us as a faculty being hired to the rich history of the University of Peradenia. We offer you the warmest welcome to be part of the community in the Faculty of Science. We look forward for you to carry on a tradition of greatness. I hope that virtual documentary was both enjoyable and educative. Now we have come to the end of today's program and to mark the conclusion of this inauguration ceremony, I would like to cordially invite Dr. Varun Senivaratna, the chairperson of the organizing committee to deliver the vote of thanks. Over to you, Madam. Good morning, the invited dignitaries, academic and administrative and non-academic staff members, students and ladies and gentlemen. It is my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this important occasion. On behalf of the organizing committee of the orientation of the batch of 2020 of the Faculty of Science, I express my sincere thanks to the Vice Chancellor, Professor M.D. Lama Wansa, and the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Terence Madhujit of the University of Peradeniya, for your participation today, gracing this event. Thank you, sirs. Professor Sanat Rajapaksha, the Dean, Faculty of Science, your advice, support, and leadership paved the way to the success of this event. My heartfelt gratitude to you, sir. I thank the heads of the departments and AR and her team for helping in various ways and your participation. I also thank the director of the Postgraduate Institute of Science for joining us today. I extend my sincere thanks to the invited dignitaries, academic, administrative, and non-academic staff members, and the students who are participating in this occasion. I wish to thank all the resource persons of the orientation program, which is scheduled to start from the 6th June and will be continuing for three more weeks. There is a team who work and will be working very hard behind the screen during the orientation program. The session coordinators, senior student counselors, department representatives, and volunteer members of SAWC, SAAC, and CEGC, technical staff of computer unit, Mr. Ilankorn and Mr. Ratnayaka and Pamudi, Demonstrators Nadira and Kasun of Stat and Computer Science Department are fondly acknowledged. My special thanks to Mr. Sahan Kodituaku and his team for preparing the video for today's event. Thank you, Sahan. Mr. Lahiru Ekanayaka, without your expertise in computer and web technology, carrying out an online event for this nature for three weeks is not an easy task. Thank you for your support. Today's ceremony was well planned and conducted by the trio, Dr. Hemalika Abesundara, Dr. Rajita Nanasinghe, and Dr. Iranj Jayavira, who tirelessly compared today. Thank you all. The job well done. Last but not least, Dr. Subhashini Gunatilaka, Dr. Rangika Pereira, Professor Rupika Rajakarna, chairpersons of SAWC, SAAC, and CEGC, Dr. Rajita Ranasinghe and Dr. Juman, the Deputy Proctor. I thank you all for your unconditional support, dedication and companionship in planning the orientation. I wish all the students who are joining the family of Faculty of Science of University of Peradeniya happy and successful years ahead. Thank you, have a nice day.
Thank you, Madam. With that, we conclude the proceedings of the inauguration ceremony, and I kindly request all of you to rise for the national anthem. being with you all today. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.